the Catholic Jews. Crunch your soul. Welcome to the very first episode of Catholic Saints Holy Powers, where we'll be taking a deep peek into the lives of real superheroes. That's right, I'm talking about the saints. The only difference between our Catholic saints and comic book heroes, besides the fact that they're actually alive, is that their powers do not come from radioactive spiders. but from the almighty God. Today in the scene of our discussion is none other than the Old Testament beast, Elijah the prophet. Now before we get into the awesome splendidness of his life, we're gonna need to provide you with some background. I hate history. So we're gonna turn this one over to our very own superhero and future saint, the Space Pumpkin. Thanks, Dom. Most superheroes find themselves battling scary, evil enemies, and St. Elijah is no different. During a time of intense Jewish persecution, the pagan queen Jezebel, wife of King Ahab, worshipped the fake god, Baalalalala. Threatened by the Jewish religion and the one true God, she ordered the destruction of all the prophets. However, by the grace of God, Elijah survived and eventually overcame his adversaries. Back to you, Dom. Dom? Dom, are you there? Thank you, Pumpkin. So you might ask, how did Elijah overcome the pagan turds of doom? An excellent question. And this takes us right into our first incredible attribute, fire power. In order to prove who the true God is, Elijah challenged the pagans to a contest. No, not that contest. A contest of fire power. Both Elijah and the pagan priest cut up a young bull and place it on wood, each calling upon their god to set it on fire. Of course, the pagans failed epically and made a fool out of themselves. While Elijah, after pouring 12 jars of water onto his wood, called upon our father. I'm in 1 Kings 18.38. The Lord's fire came down and consumed the holocaust and lapped up the water. That was an easy dub. Obviously, God is the one with firepower, not Elijah. But we'll still give him a couple stars just for the cool factor of helping with this miracle. Naturally, the pagans were upset and wanted to kill our holy saints. But Elijah still wanted to talk with King Ahab and so had to beat him back to the city Jezreel. 1 Kings 18.46 The hand of the Lord was on Elijah, who girded up his clothing and ran before Ahab, as far as the approaches to Jezreel. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So he outran Ahab, right? No big deal. Wrong! Because what I failed to mention is that King Ahab was riding a horse-drawn chariot, cooking at 35 miles per hour. This means Elijah was hauling at horse speed for over 17 miles, 8 miles per hour faster than Usain Bolt's top speed. This is not normal human behavior. Super speed check. Again, his speed ultimately comes from God, but he was still moving quick. Now I know what you're thinking. If I had that kind of stamina, I would be doing crazy things on the track. Our intern Johnny thought that. Let's take a look. If that old man probably cannot run a horse, so can I. They don't call me a butter bell for nothing. Poor Johnny. It is wise to note, often God gives these incredible graces in times of extreme trial, and when he knows it's best. It's time for a chat with Grant. I know you young kids get all excited over these superpowers, but the saints never taste no flashy abilities. They strive for nothing less than holiness. If you try to be holy, God will do great things through and for you. The best way to do this is pray the rosary. Good one, Gramps. A last remark in regards to Elijah. He seems to be one of the few saints who God preserved from death. 
2 Kings 2.11 a flaming chariot and flaming horse came down between them, and Elijah went up to heaven in the whirlwind. Now I know some of this stuff is going to be hard to believe, but have no doubt that the God of the universe can easily pick up one of his beloved servants in a flaming taxi. Immunity to death confirmed. It's time for the saintly leaderboard. In first place, we have, with 10 stars, Elijah. As you can see, there's not much competition so far. If there is a saint you would like to see in this competition next, please drop it in the comment section below and we'll get right to it. We plan to be uploading videos at least once a week.